Hey friends, welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome if you're new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So I just want to start off by saying happy Monday. I hope you guys are doing well. I wanted to start this week off right with the video because I know I haven't really been posted on my regular schedule, which is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It kind of throws me off, so I wanted to get back on that schedule. And with that being said, this video was not planned at all, which it kind of works out perfectly. I'll get more into that later. Originally, I didn't want to do like a long voiceover for this video, but now that I'm actually doing it, I think I may say more than I actually wanted to. And also before I get too far into the video, I did want to mention that for most part of the video i will be kind of like up towards the top of the frame because i had this new light i was using and there was a huge glare in my phone and usually i would keep checking to like see if i'm in frame or not but i couldn't really see so i did my best um so sometimes the video will kind of like skip to a different part just because i wanted to edit that out because you can't see it anyway so i just went ahead and edit that part out so yeah as you see i'm just going ahead and doing my prep i did apply some cuticle oil as my pop off method and then I went over that with a top coat from awesome color I cured that for 30 seconds and now I'm just using these square C curve nail tips from Das girl and I'm sizing them out to my sizes making sure that they fit sidewall to sidewall and then once I get them all sized out I will be using my 4-in-1 base coat from Bella Vina to glue them on And just a fun fact guys, I don't have my little flashlight on a stand. This is actually my sister holding it for me. So to apply these, it's just like the impress method, but just with half tips, you just want to put some of the base coat into the nail tip. Hold it onto your nail and just carry it on. After I had all of these applied, I did put them in the light for 30 seconds just to make sure they were fully cured. And then of course, after I had them cured, I'm gonna cut them down just a little bit, like literally just a little bit. I basically just cut off the numbers off the tip and that's all I'm going to be doing for that part. And I just love the way nails look after I cut them down. I just really love the way they look. So even though these nails are like, already pre-shaped i do like to file the sides just because to me they kind of look a little bit wide towards the tip so i'm just reshaping the nail tips really quickly just to kind of narrow them down just a little bit um filing the sides and also squaring off that free edge of the nail And once I'm done reshaping the nails, I go in with my e-file and a sanding band just to remove the shine from all of the nail tips.
Now taking some base coat from a car, I'm just going to do a layer over all of the nails and cure for 30 seconds. So once again, I do apologize for me being out of frame. The next video I film, I will be using this light because I do feel like it really helped my lighting in this video and my pictures. So the next time I use this light, I will be careful and make sure I'm in frame for you guys. But yeah, I'm just adding this base coat and curing for 30 seconds. So moving on to the fun part and the most exciting part of the video, um, I'm going to be starting my application with some poly gel and this is a siesta from McCart. It's just the most perfect shade of nude and I absolutely love it. The consistency is so great. Um, I will have this link down below as well as everything else that I use in today's video. So this is actually my first time doing one of these types of videos. I'm actually recreating a set requested by a follower on Instagram. And the reason I mentioned this worked out perfectly because today's video was supposed to be me using the McCart Your Nail Lab box for the month of March, which is the Christina Couture collaboration. And I can't wait to show you guys the items in that video because they are just so gorgeous and I think you guys would love it. I've already filmed the unboxing. I just didn't know what I was going to do. The day I was supposed to film that video, I was super busy. The night before, I stayed up to like 6 o'clock in the morning on my phone just watching videos. I didn't get much sleep and the day after I was super busy still didn't have time so this video was actually filmed um, Sunday around 8 o'clock p.m. so that's so unusual for me and I just wanted to go ahead and get something out so that I could post today just so I can get back on my schedule and it worked out perfectly it was such a simple set but it was still very cute and I liked it so of course I just had to go ahead and film this video so as requested by Kennedy here's their comment um they tagged me and they was like recreate question mark question mark question mark and here is the set i'm going to be recreating so as you can see it's very simple but it's still very cute and just simply starting off with the new poly gel this will be a uniform set all of my nails will be the same so i will be speeding it up towards more towards the end so you guys won't be sitting here for too long i feel like the video is already long I may end up trimming it down but yeah i'm just doing some simple poly gel application i'm using some 91 percent iced purple alcohol as my slip solution and i also did want to point out that i am doing the two beat method that i see nails by vic use and it worked out a lot better than what i usually do usually i would just go in with like one bead down the line and do two beads but it kind of works a little bit better if i'm being honest um it's just easier to control the apex area and speaking of apex area since i won't be wearing these for long i did pop these off like right after the video i'm not gonna work on like the structure and the thickness of the nail too much since these nails are just for content purposes and i don't want to waste my product especially this color this color is just too gorgeous to waste so i did want to mention that in case you guys see the nails are flat in some areas and so like i mentioned originally i didn't want to do too much talking in today's video so i explained that and i think i covered everything else that i wanted to say oh yeah how are you guys feeling the new intro i kind of want to do some rebranding to my channel i've been looking at some new intros and like i don't know really what i want but i just came up with this one because i love the nude color in it like the brown aesthetic Oh, and the butterflies, like I just love anything with butterflies. I think with anything that I have, I feel like butterflies will be included. And I'm actually working on a newer intro that I may change, I may put back. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below if you like it or not. I think that's everything and as I do this simple application, I will just be letting you guys watch this part play out. I'm not going to show all of my fingers just because it would take too long. If you're still watching up to here, um, I just want to say thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed and liked yet, please make sure to do so. I would really appreciate it. And if you're feeling generous, leave a comment down below. And so yeah, I'll let you guys finish watching this part play out and I'll pop back in later to further explain the process of this nail design. Thank you. 
so i've been wanting to do like the featured comment like the first three people or like the first few people to comment on my video i literally cannot tell you guys how many times i've meant to like mention that in my video where i've just forgot i did remember this time because i was flipping through my pictures to like find that comment that i show of the person requesting me to recreate this set so i did find that so here's the first three people to comment on my previous video which is tia bella beauty the gk besties and Lux Nails by Tara. Thank you guys for having your post notifications turned on. If you would like to be my next featured comment, make sure to subscribe and have my post notifications turned on and be one of the first few people to comment so you will be featured in my next video. Um, I do want to mention, I don't know if I'll keep this up because I am very forgetful and even if I don't mention you guys' names, sometimes I will have it like popped up on the screen. I will try my best. Just bear with me on that, y'all. So as I'm finishing up this design, I did make sure to keep my sides in very straight. It would really help during the filing process. And then also I wanted this application to be smooth as possible. I think I did pretty good on the smoothness. Looking at them, I feel like I won't have that much to file. Here's what they are looking like. And I absolutely love this color. Like just this plain set would look so pretty with like some cuticle gems or like some rhinestone, just any type of charms or even just by, by itself. This would be such a pretty nail set so i'm just cleansing them down with some alcohol i'm gonna wipe off that tacky layer so i can get into my filing i also did want to mention i'm not going to encapsulate like i said this video is just for content purposes and i don't want to waste my product and even if i were to wear these i feel like these wouldn't need to be encapsulated anyway so as always i have my melanie susie dust collector and i'm just starting off by reshaping the nails and i did speed this part up just because i wanted this part to like play out but also not take too long it was very satisfying watching this like sped up like this but so yeah starting my filing i start off by reshaping the nails on the side and also making sure to go underneath the nail and then go over the surface just to make sure everything is smooth now also with my hand file i do get around the cuticle area as much as possible just to prevent pulling out my e-file but I do believe I did go over my nails with a sanding band. I went around the cuticle area and just went over the surface with my e-file and a sanding band. I think I did show that part in the video. I slowed this part back down just so you guys can get a closer look, a better look of my thumb. And I think I did so good with fouling that. Like it was just so pretty. And I do feel like my application had a lot to do with that. I didn't really have much to file. Filing these nails did not take me long at all, which is why I did try to include as much as possible without the video being super long. So yeah, sit back, relax, and enjoy this part of the video. I am really loving the way these nails are turning out. Thank you, Kennedy, for requesting this set. I don't know if they're subscribed to me or just follow me on Instagram, but do you guys see the filing of these nails? Like, they're just coming out so nice. Um, I do have a lot of problems filing the free edge. Like, that is just the most difficult part of filing my nails. So here's the part where I took the sanding band, and I'm just going around the cuticle area and also just going over the surface of the nail. While reshaping the nails, my ring finger did pop off. So as you guys see here, it's not on um, I'm gonna go ahead and continue filing the nails with my sanding band I did reapply that once I finish finish filing Thank you. 
so now that i'm done reshaping and filing did you guys enjoy that process let me know if you want to see more filing parts in my videos i do like to keep them short because like i always mention i don't want to make the video super long but here's how the nails are looking even though i believe i do a super nice job at filing my nails there's still something i can't pinpoint that make them like look rounded off at the tips if you guys have any tips please let me know down below in the comments so i'm just getting out all of the gel polishes that i'm going to be needing before i do my nail art i did go over the nails with a glossy top coat like literally right after i cured i was looking at the picture and i did notice in the picture the nude part like the base of the nails were matte and i didn't want to add on another matte top coat just because i didn't want these nails to look thick so i just kept them glossy and they turned out really nice as well um, I got this pink gel polish set from a cart. They sent this over to me for Valentine's Day. I've yet to get to it, but I did take out the first color and unfortunately the colors in that kit wasn't what I was looking for. Like I can't explain it, but they were like more on like the burgundy side. And so I took this hot pink from Nail Addict, AKA Nail Reserve. As you guys know, they are rebranding their name. So yeah, I'm just putting some onto my nail palette and I'm going to be mixing these colors up, trying to create five different shades well four different shades well actually three different shades of this um pink going like fading down from like light to dark i already have the pink in the center that's going to be on my ring finger i think and then i'm also going to be placing a white which is going to be for my pinky fingers so technically i only have three colors to mix so i'm just going to go ahead and mix these colors up and then applying them to my nails So now starting the nail art portion of the video, like in the picture, you see she has like little ice cream drops or in this case, I'm going to say like icing because there are sprinkles on them and they remind me more of like icing cupcakes more than ice cream. So I'm just going to call them like icing drips. Usually you see these designs coming from the cuticle area, but on this particular set, they're coming from the tips of the nails, which I think is very interesting. Um, I did start off with a dotting tool, but I felt like a dotting tool for the entire design was a little bit challenging so after this nail i will switch to using the dotting tool for the like the drips of them and then i will fill in the rest with my liner brush by nails by dev and it just made the process go by so much more easier so like i said this is such a simple set um i'm just going to be creating these little cupcake ice and drips on each of the nails of course doing a different color fading down to darker towards my thumb and then after i do that i am going to flash cure each of these for like 15 to 20 seconds and then move on to the next nail i really love how this pinky turned out also i do believe in the picture like hers are a little bit longer i feel like mine still turned out really nice as well um, I'm just going to continue adding these drips onto the nails and then I will come back when I start to create the little sprinkles.
now that all of my little drips are on i am going to take these two colors because in the picture she has like a really light pastel yellow and a really pretty blue so i have the perfect colors to use for this i'm going to use the yellow from the candy color born pretty gel polishes that i previously reviewed and used in a video and then i'm also taking this pretty blue color from madame glam so the yellow was a little bit darker after i put it on my nail palette so i'm just going to mix it with a little bit of white and once I mix that, I'm just going to be taking my liner brush and I'm going to be creating like little lines on each of the drips to create the sprinkles. And here's what the drips are looking like. I'm so glad that I decided to recreate this because these are looking so pretty so far. So continuing with the nail art, it's still very simple. I'm just going to be creating like little lines going in different directions to give the sprinkle effect. And this is so easy, but to give that sprinkle effect, you want to make sure that these are like scattered evenly and make sure that the lines are going in complete different directions so they aren't like very uniform. That just gives that really like scattered sprinkled look. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue doing this. Once I do this, I'm basically finished with the nail set. Of course, adding some top coat. Um, if you are still watching up to here, I want to say thank you again for sticking with me this far into the video. So after I got all of the nail art on, here's how the nails are looking. I'm freaking loving this set so much. They're so simple, but I just love them so much. Once again, I am off frame a little bit, but I'm just applying some top coat to all of the nails. I did decide to make the entire thing glossy. I didn't go back and add the matte top coat like the picture. Um, so I'm just going to add an even layer to all of the nails. This part took a little bit longer because I couldn't figure out where like this does and like little it was like little blue strings i don't know where it was coming from but it was all in my top coat when i show the finished nails you can kind of see like some cuticle oil on my nails and it kind of like it made the top coat spread a little bit but yeah i just wanted to mention that um i'm just finishing this off i will cure this for 30 seconds in my light then add some cuticle oil
and my favorite part of the video the finish set so here's what the nails are looking like and i probably said this like a million times throughout this video but i really really love how these nails turned out they are super cute and yet super simple so thanks again kennedy for requesting this video i will make sure to tag that person on instagram when i post these on the index finger you can kind of see like where some cuticle oil got in touch with the nail and it kind of made the top coat separate that's not a problem and here's the thumb i really love that shot of the thumb like it was just super cute since i really did enjoy recreating this nail set requested by an instagram follower let me know down in the comments if you guys would love a series where you tag me in pictures and send me pictures and i try to recreate those nail sets to the best of my ability i think that would be a really interesting series and i think it would be really fun i don't know if you guys can tell yet but i absolutely love the way this set turned out so yeah, i really hope you guys enjoyed this video comment your thoughts down below and as always don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video